Look, I'm just saying. Yellow's acting pretty sus right now. I don't know. What? It's, it's not brown. Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech Vibe. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a little editing trick on Premiere Pro if you're a fan of Among Us and you're looking for how to do those edits to get those cascading letters to go along with the uh, little ejection, kind of like this right here. If you're looking for something kind of like that, I'm gonna show you guys how you can achieve that here today in Premiere Pro. Not a long video, guys, pretty simple. Let's get into it. Uh, all right, all right, all right. So, let's get my little Among Us guy just floating along. All right, so let's get into this, boys. So, first off, I'd just like to say, if you do not have this little video here with the sound that we're trying to do here, if you don't have this sound available to you in some sort of way, I would definitely get it ahead of time of trying to do this because it helps when you're trying to get your keyframes in the right way and lining them up and getting the text to cascade how you want it to and really you know you get that right look that right feel you want to have that audio available for you so i've got the audio sitting here waiting on my timeline good to go for me so now let's get started so we're going to create a new sequence so we're going to go to file new and sequence so you're going to be looking for the sequence presets here At the top you're going to be looking for digital slr now, under the 1080p, you should see the 24, 25, and 30. I'm just gonna pick 24. Now, when you pick that, you wanna name your sequence here at the bottom. Mine's gonna be Among Us, Eject. So now I've got that down in my assets here. So I'm gonna bring it to the top line, the timeline here. I'm gonna drop it in. Well, you don't really have to drop it in, I guess. We have, to, we have to create something first. So we're gonna go to our toolbar here, go to the type tool. I'm gonna bring it up here to the projection. And I'm gonna say, just like my other video, Brown was ejected. Now I've got that there. Now if you do want to kind of alter your text here, you can find that in your essential graphics. And this will give you all of the different things you can do to it. I'm just going to center it. I'm going to leave the text like it is. I'm not going to change anything here, but if you guys did want to, you can change the font here to whatever you'd like, the color, the, you can add stroke. If you want to do more adjusting, you're welcome to do that here in the essential graphics. So anyways, so we've got that here. Now what we want to do is make sure we can see our timeline here with our text so then from there we're going to be looking up something I already had up uh, linear wipe so you're gonna type that in the search uh, in the effects it'll be right there under transitions we're gonna pull that to the timeline now that it's there we're gonna go over here to our uh, effect controls so we're gonna be looking for that linear wipe now when you do see it we are going to be transitioning. You're going to be looking at that transition complete. So I'll just let me let me show you what happens if you don't do this the right way. So you would think that you just go over here, click this toggle. We've set a keyframe here. Well, we've got our keyframe in, and we want to adjust this somewhere in the timeline. Going ahead, some frames and we want to make sure that it tracks it follows we want to set another keyframe well you set another keyframe by adjusting something within this this mask this linear white doing something different making the numbers different we're going to have it set to 100. well if you're paying attention right there it's pretty quick but when i put it at 100 it actually took away the text and that's not what we're looking for so to fix that 
there's two things we want to do. We want our keyframe, starting keyframe, to actually be at 100. And we're going to want to go down here to the wipe angle. And we're going to want to put that at negative 90. Now from there, we're going to go back to that last keyframe. And we want to change that to zero. Now, if you are got your finished product, so to speak, you're going to be willing to looking at a 100 to zero on your transition. So on your last keyframe, it should be zero. Your first keyframe, it should be 100. So let's play that back so you guys can see. So you see it comes out. Now we've got that there. So let's add our sound. got video with it but let's take that away so here we go it's got our sound there all right I'm find out pretty good right there now if you do want to fine-tune some things kind of make a little adjustments you can do it one or two ways the easiest way in my opinion is just sliding around your sound kind of adjusting it there if you kind of want it to start a little earlier or end a little earlier whichever it may be you can adjust it there just by simply sliding it and if you want to change it another way then you're more than welcome to go back in here into the keyframes and try to set your keyframes at different points again I would just slide around the time but completely up to you so guys simple not too hard easy video you can add other uh, effects to this if you want to but this is kind of just a simplistic one for you guys just an easy one if you just want to do those little simple edits for your videos if you want to do these like among us memes or whatnot so guys that's the video that's gonna do it hope you enjoyed hope you can like hope you can subscribe and hope to catch you in another one thanks